Kindergarten, Here I Come, by D.J. Steinberg, illustrated by Mark Chambers. Kindergarten, here I come. Kindergarten, here I come. I'm checking off the list of everything I need for school. Let's see, what have I missed? Backpack, check. Glue stick. Check. Labeled cubby box. Check. Extra pair of underwear. Check. Extra pair of socks. Check. Crayons. Check. Scissors. Check. Mom says I'm all set. But wait. There are tons of other stuff. I'd better not forget. My cuddle bear, my magic wand, my superhero cape, two flashlights, and a tool set in case I must escape. Huh? Mom says to put those things back where I took them from. She says I won't need that stuff. She promised school won't be too rough. I hope she's right. I really do. Cause kindergarten, here I come. My teacher. My teacher did a magic trick the minute that I came. I don't know how, but presto poof, she somehow knew my name. Then bam, she figured out I'm nice and that I'm really smart. And just like that, she seemed to know how good I am at art. I think she used some magic spells to make the whole day fun. Of all the teachers in the world, I'm glad that she's my one. Crisscross applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. That's the way we sit. Not feed out sauerkraut. Not Cottage cheese on your knees. Not bottoms up coffee cup. Not blueberry jelly on your belly. But crisscross applesauce. That's the way we sit. Once upon a story time. Goblins, bunnies, kings and queens. Cats in hats and magic beans. Once upon a far away, which book will we read today? Yellow Lunchbox. I love you, Yellow Lunchbox. Click, I open you to see. What treasures lie inside today? What did mom pack for me? Ah, so there you are, below those good things I should eat. I found you, chocolate cupcake. You're my favorite part, the treat. Missing tooth. 
I was munching on my apple when suddenly, crunch, my tongue felt something missing, and I had a little hunch. Out came a tiny pebble, all shiny, smooth, and white. Hey, look, the tooth fairy's coming to my house tonight. Recess. I'm a fireman to the rescue. Down the pole I slide. Now look, I'm a monkey swinging side to side. I'm a climber up the mountain. I'm queen of this whole town. Check me out. I'm a bat hanging upside down. Watch me creak across this beam. I'm a sneaky thief raccoon. I'm the pilot of a rocket ship zooming to the moon. In only half an hour, we are all these things and more. Till recess time is over and we head back in the door. Counting craze. There are 22 children here in room 109. A guinea pig, three goldfish, and one cuddle bear, mine. There's one really nice teacher with eight buttons on her dress. And one billion purple polka dots, more or less. There are 39 crayons that fell out of the box, 53 cars, and 87 blocks. 24 food cans in our make-believe shop. Oh, help! I've learned how to count. Now I just can't stop. No nap wrap. I'm not tired. I'm not sleepy. I'm wide awake, you see. It's daytime. It's my playtime. You say nap time? Not for me. I'll lie flat upon the mat. But I'm not counting sheep. You can snooze, but I refuse. Oh, no, I will not go to... Field trip! Hooray! Hooray! A field trip day! Adventures in the air! Driver, driver, please don't stop until you get us there. We squeal and hoot, we screech and roar, and stomp the whole way through, just like a bunch of animals, until we reach the zoo. Best Friends Heather was my best friend this morning on the bus, but she talked so much to Shauna that I made my best friend Gus. But Gus said he was Noah's friend and wouldn't take it back. So I had to go and trade him for a better best friend, Zach. Zach wouldn't share the box of blocks, so what else could I do? At lunchtime, I sat right down beside my newest best friend, Sue. Then Sue ate half my cupcake. I didn't say she could. In art, I was all by myself. I was done with friends for good. Then someone came and asked me, Can we paint together?
myself on the bus ride home again. My new, new best friend was Heather. George. I have a kindergarten friend who isn't very big. I'm talking about George Washington, our classroom guinea pig. I always stop to talk to him about the stuff we like. I tell him what's on TV and how to ride a bike. I'm teaching him his ABCs and how to draw a heart. He always pays attention. That George is clearly very smart. One hundredth day of school. I brought one hundred marbles inside my plastic cup. Zach brought one hundred chocolate chips till someone ate them up. Nina's one hundred toothpicks all came inside one box. Alia brought a picture of her one hundred chicken pox. I used to think 100 was a lot when I was small. But now that it's the 100th day, I'm old enough to say 100 isn't all that many, many days at all. Show and tell. Today's my turn for show and tell. But somehow I forgot. I could have brought in Cuddle Bear or else my new robot. I could have brought my snow globe or my cool vacation hat. I could have brought my goldfish, except I didn't think of that. So now my hands are empty and my teacher's calling me. But hang on, I see something staring right in front of me. Quick, I draw two dots on my finger while I stand. Then I make my thumb into a mouth. Hi class, please meet my hand. Line leaders. Line up time. It's a race. Everybody wants first place. But I go slowly. I don't run. Because I'm the line leader. I was picked the line leader. So make way, kids, for number one. Growing seeds. We planted seeds in paper cups and put them on the sill. We watered them and watched and watched and watched those cups until... I peeked today and check it out! A little baby seedling sprout. Growing me. What happened to my favorite pants? The ones that used to fit. Now they come up to my knees when I try to sit. My toes can't wiggle in my shoes the way they used to do. I think somebody shrunk my clothes. Or could it be I grew? Last day. I hugged my teacher. Please don't cry. And she said, beg your pardon? I said, we're going to the first grade. But you're stuck 
in kindergarten. The end. I hope you've enjoyed this story, Kindergarten. Here I come. Kindergarten is so much fun. It's one of the best grades ever. You get to play and you get to meet new friends. And it's a little scary, though, because it's the first time that you're really away from home for any length of time. But don't be worried. You're going to have so much fun and just wait till you get into the first grade. Now, click that thumbs up button and let grandma know how much you like this story. And let me know what you like about kindergarten. Or if you're not into kindergarten, tell me what your favorite thing is to do at school. But whatever it is, make sure you come back for more stories. Bye, Grandma.